everyone, Deidre Karagatsu again here in Swator, uh, taking down the Eidolon Part 2. Um, this time we'll actually be entering the factory facility where this whoever I need to find or scavenge things. Uh, I know we're supposed to plant explosives on the generator uh, during this playthrough. So I think in part three is actually when we'll find the target that we need to kill or capture. Um, I am playing light side, so if you're playing a light side character, the uh, bounty hunter leader person that that is like the chick in Dragon Pot, she'll give you a carbonizer pistol gun thing. And uh, you can use that to capture your enemies instead of kill them. That's what I've been doing with my light side character. Even though know, I'm on an Imperial class, I just I can't stand the Republic in this game. I I cannot stand the Republic. I don't play the Republic. My friend created two characters uh, on my account: uh, a, Re a Republic trooper and a consular. I don't play them. I haven't touched them. I did have one Jedi that I was playing with another friend, but he unsubscribed from Swator like a lazy bastard he is because he can't pay 15 measly dollars per month even though he uh, spends so much money on Steam video games like every single week. Go buy like three video games off of Steam, and yet he he uh, he can't pay for fifteen dollars a month for Swator. I don't understand. Uh, I am a little sick, so I might be sick for a lot. Ah, gross. Anyways, I'm not going to be talking very long because we need to get to this playthrough, and I need to shut up so you guys can listen and enjoy it. Uh, oh, right here, there's a bug. So I was I was killing this droid. And then next to me, you can see Mako shooting the dude we just passed on the left. But um, I have my settings set to uh, enemies have that red bar above them all the time. You can see in the background how there's uh, enemies in the background that had a, the, the red uh, title bar. You know, whatever the AI or NPC is. And... Um, I had the, the other guy who's right beside Mako didn't have one, so that's why I just walked past. But uh, you'll see in a second I die here because I, I realized that, oh, she's actually fighting the dude and I should be healing her since I'm a mercenary. But I was too late to the game figuring that out, as you can see. And I unfortunately get overpowered and I die. But that is the only death of this this video, so don't worry, there won't be any more, I won't fail. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna stop talking, and uh, I don't know, I guess I'll go do something else, but if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, become part of the clan, I know you want to, so go ahead and do that, and I will talk to you guys later. Please put down a comment of what you think maybe I should do a video of next, I don't know. Make it a bite, please. Later.
shoulder, huh? I've been watching you on the surveillance monitors. I know what you're doing. You've got to stop. Please. There are dozens of civilian technicians and engineers working here. If you blow up this facility, they'll all be killed. You've confused me with someone who cares. Please. I don't care what you do to the facility. Just give me time to evacuate my people. I only need a few minutes to round up my crew and get them out of here. Do what you will afterwards. Every merc in here wants my hide. These people are innocent employees. They have families. Show some compassion. I'm begging you.
All right, all right, I'm in. Thank you. Pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Anything you like? Come again. Did you feel it? The Idolot's property will rain down on the streets for days. I could already hear his holo conversation with the Republic. Were those our billions of credits going up in smoke? <laughs> Maybe the Idolon will ask you for a loan. Ha! Yeah. I'd give my left Leku to see that gang beg me for credits. I got some discretionary funds from the cartel to deal with these sorts of problems. I think you've earned more than a few. Hunter's gotta know. Galloran should talk about it. Mako said it was important. She said so. Wait, what did you find, Anui? 
Oh, for the love of Frank and Credits, we're discussing business here. Strange weapon orders. Armor plating, blaster cannons, defense shields. Shipped to an abandoned warehouse in the Dural sector? Makes no sense. Armor plating. Hang on, that sounds really familiar. Let me check something. Talk to me, Mako. I asked Anuli to help me watch for possible bounty hunter rivals and to look out for anything weird. And this is, even for Nar Shada. Nobody ships expensive hardware to empty buildings. Or if they do, they hide it better. Here it is, the Zargnor clan. I knew this weapon part sounded familiar. A clan of Ugnaughts got into the Great Hunt by building a bizarre war droid that they would ride inside of. The thing's blaster cannons blew up during the Grand Melee. Everyone was killed except the Ugnaughts inside the armored droid, making them the winners. Please say this is a joke. Hey, as possible rival bounty hunters go, these might not be too bad. Assuming they haven't finished their new war droid. But it'd probably be a good idea to get them before they finish. Where are they again? The warehouse they ship the parts to is in a really sketchy part of town. It'll be tough to get to. Look, hey, I don't know what this is about, and I don't think I want to know. Take care of your personal business. When you get back, we'll chat more about the Eidolon. That's how you want it. <laughs> 